Hey guys, Dan Fool, Mr. Gray, Dan Dalf, the Gray. And we are finally back with the proper comments video. Reading the comments, because I failed the last one. And I got really wet. And this is why it failed. Not because of the rain. I can handle the rain. It was because of that. Is it gonna focus? Is this gonna focus? It's because of that. Well that was the um that was the wind guard thing. I think they call it like a rat's tail or rabbit's foot or something, I don't know. It's supposed to be on the mic on that camera and I forgot to take it. I, I pulled it out. That's what she said. <laughs> Michael. Michael. Michael, Michael, please. I put it on the desk ready to think, right, if I go up this mountain, it's going to be windy probably. But I forgot to take it. So next time I go up, that will be saving me. Hopefully. I thought I'd finally get to all the comments. Not all of them, because there's a lot. I try my best to get to them, but... We'll see. First one, because I thought it was, a it was a really nice comment. I like I like the nice ones. I th kind of thrive on bad comments, but I do like the nice ones as well. It's from Kate Waston on the Failed to Read New Comments episode, and she says, Nice video anyway. Love the scenery. Love the ramblings too. It's like being in the car on a drive with an interesting friend. See, I like those comments. I like those comments. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. You get a heart for me. <laughs> Fucking Maboka says and they're talking about the ghost watch 1992 which got claimed not long after i made it by the bbc even though i was praising the bloody documentary you bbc i remember watching this as a 14 year old i, I was actually shaken by the end and yes if 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 you've never watched it go go watch somehow ghost watch 1992 it was uk um it's basically what started off like most haunted and all the the ghost all the ghost hunting paranormal investigation shows you see today i'm gonna say started because of that 1992 uk mockumentary basically it was um it was stated as real when it first came out obviously by the end you know it's all bollocks but when i first thought, watched that i watched that as a kid i said i say it in that video as well but i watched it as a kid and i shit my pants not physically i was close i was bloody close but everyone in school was talking about that uh, documentary. It scared the crap out of everyone. When you watch it now, it's still good. But as an adult, you're like, oh my god, I can't believe this scared me. Well, saying that, it's still freaky. Go watch it. It's still bloody freaky. And funny enough, I've actually started watching Ghost Adventures again. Even though, you know, whatever. I, it's purely for my entertainment. But, yeah. But anyway. <laughs> Don't know where I was going with that. But thank you for the comments. Oh, by the way, because I always, always forget. I have a Discord. It's linked down below. Go go there. There's people, there's skeptics, there's believers, there's people who just want to talk about movies, video games, anything general, paranormal, conspiracies, and then, you know, anything you want, really. Just behave in there. I have mods. Try and keep it in the uh, categories. I know some don't. And I don't like to enforce that. And I probably won't, but <laughs> but try and keep it in the categories because the mods will enforce it, and just 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 have some fun there. Um, another thing I rarely ever push. I also have a Patreon. There's nothing hidden behind it. It's there for pure support in the hopes that I one day somehow do this full time. But that's it's there. It's linked down below. Go there. Um, you don't even have to. It's, it's, there's no point. You don't have to go there. It's fine. <laughs> I feel so dirty throwing out all my bloody uh, things, but but you get the idea. Right, where was I? Uh, Mike P two fifty five says, and again on the failed comments video where I went up the top of the mountain and came down a hill. Whereabouts in Wales is this? I was born in the states, but my ancestors emigrated from one or two towns, villages, almost directly between Cardiff and Swansea. I wish I could remember the names off the top of my head, but I've forgotten them. I have a book around here somewhere with the names, the people's names, and the names of the towns. The Welsh were my dad's side. My, mother grand's, my mother's grandfather was born in Barnsley, England, and emigrated here in 1902. Interesting. He told the coolest stories. Anyhow, I've tracked down where my maternal great-grandfather grew up, but know very little about Wales. I love geography and would be interested in to see if that's anywhere near where they came from. Sorry about the long, long ass comment. Love your videos. Well, Mike, I appreciate it. Um, it's the Rickos Mountain. It's not too far away from me, but uh, it's far enough where I won't dox myself. 
<laughs> but it's the Rickos Mountain. It's one of the biggest areas in South Wales. Because you can go to the top of a mountain. On a clear day, you can see the Brecon Beacons. It's, you know, it's, it's quite cool. And the Brecon Beacons from where I am is about 20 miles away. 25 miles. Give or take. So, you know, to go to the top of the mountain and see that in the distance is pretty cool. Obviously, you can only see bits of it because... The curvature of the earth and all that, like, you know. <laughs> you, can see, you can see the start of it, put it that way. But it's pretty cool. But it's the Rickos Mountain, that's where it is. And I appreciate the comment. Uh, Carrie Bowes, hang on, you can't see it, sorry. C Carrie Bowes is commenting on the ghosts of see through the SLS counter argument, and this was basically why I snipped from the live stream I did the other day. And they say, question hypothesis. Would I be an idiot for thinking that even if the Kinect could see another spectrum of light and ghosts, the X-ray problem would still exist? Even if it can see ghosts in another spe spectrum, it wouldn't be able to tell what is invisible or not, and therefore the two skeletons over each other wouldn't be possible. Because one is blocking the other, so Dan's original argument that it doesn't have X-ray vision still stands. I hope that makes sense. Do you know, I actually, when I started reading that, I thought it was going to be a disagreement <laughs> with my uh, hypothesis, but yeah, it's... Basically the same thing. Just because we and I know I, I know I keep going on about this SLS, but obviously it's it's um, a main discussion in my channel right now, so that's why I keep on going on going over it. And I don't mind. I, I enjoy doing it. But yeah, the reason you know if we like I said before, if even if we can't see it, the camera, if it's tracking something, can see it, and you should be able to see it in the viewfinder of the camera. That's that's pretty much what I'm getting at. And again, even if ghosts are on a different spectrum of light and the camera, the camera, first of all, is not designed to see the different spectrum. It's only designed for IR standard, you know, you know, the standard stuff. But even if it was on a different spectrum of light and the camera tracked it on that different spectrum of light that we don't know exists, the camera should still see what it's tracking. It should show, I should say. That's what I'm getting at. <laughs> but thank you. Brandon Boulderoff says, and again, on my failed comments video, and they're going to, in the last question, I can't even remember what the, exactly the last question was now, but they say, what I think the last question is saying, the supernatural is beyond what we understand. What's What we understand to be scientifically rational, logical does not, logic does not apply to the ghosts. Logically, sorry. <laughs> Which can make sense because humans don't know everything. But what are the chances that there's something breaking the laws of physics? First of all, uh, I'm right there with you. Humans don't know everything. We don't know everything. And you know, the top scientist in the world will say we don't know everything. That's that's the the, the good the gr brilliant thing about science. People who are not scientists, who think they know everything, definitely don't know everything. But they will say I know everything. But then, that's, this is why I like science, because most top-tier scientists will say, well, I don't know what that is, but I'm going to find out. Yeah, you know, they won't just say, I know what that is. I know that as a fact. You know, that's the good thing about science. They say they don't know everything, but it's the it's the um, exploration, the, the finding out is what makes a scientist. If you know what I mean, so to speak. I'm not a scientist. But the last part, uh, what are the chances there's something breaking the laws of physics? I mean, there is always that chance that, again, the laws of physics, the laws of physics in layman's terms, is basically the universe has a set of rules. No matter where in this universe, if you're on Earth, Mars, if you're in Sagittarius A, it doesn't matter. The universe has a set of rules of how light works, how gravity works, how everything works. Everything is a set of rules. That's basically the laws of physics. But, going off memory now, there's things in the universe which, and science will say this as well, which they, I'm talking about like deep in the universe, you know, this is things we're discovering day by day through the, the telescope, the, the Hubble, the, I always forget the bloody name, James something telescope. <laughs> but we're still discovering new things and then a couple of times now and again they'll come out in the media or the news outlet or something some science discovery saying we don't know what this is yet and it's not following the laws of physics but then eventually they'll find out oh, actually you know sorry it is but i don't know i don't know we don't know everything 
That is that is true. That nobody can ever say we know everything there is ever. We just don't. I mean, as va as advanced as we are, two hundred years ago, they ever they all thought they knew everything. Science back in like two hundred years ago was like, yes, we know everything. Everything's been invented. We've discovered everything. Clearly, we didn't. So to say now in twenty twenty two, as advanced as we are, as as good as we are getting, we still don't know everything. I sort of agree with that. You know, the chances of something breaking the laws of physics. If we don't know what it looks like to break the laws of physics, we won't know. That's the problem. That's the only thing I can say. <laughs> I know I didn't explain that properly, but thank you for the comments. Linda Easley. I hope I'm saying your name right. So, and it says, going on the debunking ghost videos and the paranormal with logic. It's featuring really haunted Alania Ben. Go check it out. Um, says, I've... I've I have to see an apparition with my own eyes to believe it's real. Animated stick figures are fake. Now, they're going on the the SLS stuff, but I'm the same. I I am one of those ones. Like I said, I follow the rules of science and what I will. The laws of physics, like we just went to, touched upon now. I would. I, if if ghosts were real, trust me, I, I want to see it. I want to see it. I'd, people think I just do this because I'm like I'm like the what they call it. What they call it. What's the word I'm looking for? A naysayer? <laughs> a spoil sport? Like I'm trying to spoil their fun? I'm definitely not. I'm definitely not. I just like to follow the facts and follow the truth and follow the science. But it, honestly, if, if ghosts were real, I'd, I'd love to see one. I'd love to be proven completely bloody wrong in everything I say. You know, to think that there's something else after, after life. I'd love that. Nothing would make me happier. So yeah, you know, I, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just pointing stuff out. That's what, I think people just think I'm just being a... A shit. A knobhead. <laughs> I'm simply pointing stuff in, out in videos. That's all I'm doing. But, you know, if if it turned out that there was something after life, and let's, let's be honest, fingers crossed there is, because it'd be, it'd be pretty cool. I'm not saying it'd be like a heaven or a hell. Maybe, maybe our energy transforms out of our bodies and goes off into the universe. I'm getting into some Star Trek shit now, and I hippie, hippie Star Trek shit. <laughs> But you don't know, you don't know. But I'd like to, I, I'd like to, I don't know. I hope there is. Let's, let's just say I hope there's something. I'm not saying it's going to be ghosts. You know, I'm going to, if, you know, when I die, I'm going to be running around in a honking bloody t-shirt or something in 2055. I'm saying that, hopefully, no. 2055, Christ, I hope I live longer than that. <laughs> I don't even know if that was the answer you were looking for with the question, but I appreciate it. It wasn't even a question, but thank you. Nikki says, uh... Again, on the failed comments video, Danny boy, I love how you poke fun at yourself in regards to the title. I wish I could do that more. Can't take yourself seriously. You just can't. Especially if you make YouTube videos, you can't take yourself seriously. Because people take a pissy regardless. So you just gotta go with the flow. And just accept that I'm bald and ginger. <laughs> just gotta accept it. You've got to be able to take the piss out of yourself. Otherwise, I just kick the camera. Otherwise, life can be shit if you take things too seriously. It's just the way you gotta be. Cerulean Daydream says, All I can say about the Stephen King con uh, movie conversation, I think I was in my live stream, is thank fuck for Peter and Jenny J in your live comments because I was about to rip what little hair I have out. Listen to you read only the ones in <laughs> those successful movies have been made from his books. Stand by me, the Shawshank Redemption. I forgot about the Shawshank Redemption. Of course, misery. Green Mile? I, I completely forgot about them. I completely forgot about them in the live stream. Of course, of course, some of the biggest movies ever made right there. <laughs> Although, fairly sure, fairly sure, and I only know this because of Minty's comedic arts. He's the, uh, the Australian version of uh, my face. Shawshank Redemption didn't do very well when it first came out. I'm fairly sure. It only started having a following after it came, uh, about a year or two later. Fact, although it might not be a fact, so don't state me on that fact. Daniel Screw says uh, again on the fatal reading comments: Sp spirits are supposedly able to affect electrical devices. Supposedly they've done experiments with radio signals getting intelligent responses from questions. More recently, the same experiment experiments with random word generators. Now I'll get to the bottom part in a bit, but that first part, um, the experiments with radio signals getting intelligent responses. The only the problem with that. And I totally agree with you, by the way, you know, uh, of the second part, at least, anyway. But we'll get to the first part first. The only problem with 
they they've done experiments. There's I don't think there's been any any funded scientific experiments. The only experiments that have ever been done has been by paranormal investigators. And as much as I like some of them, they are a bit biased when it comes to that thing. That because yeah, like I said, I was watching. I've started watching Ghost Adventures again recently, and I know you know they dramatize the flair for TV. I know that, but again, with these like ovulus, uh, what do you call them? The random word generators. What you don't see, what, what I would want to see, and this is what I want to see, I want to see an uncut, like an, maybe an hour long video or something, of some people doing various experiments and getting intelligent responses every single time. Because if you don't get them every single time, then it's not a pass in that experiment. It's just, that's just the way it is. If The experiments I, I've only ever seen from radio signals, like I said, are from paranormal investigators. A lot of paranormal investigators, they cherry pick. I'm not having to go, it's just a fact. They cherry pick. Like I said, if, if they got like a, a sound generator, a random word generator, or obvious, whatever you want to call it, and they start asking out, is there anyone here? The obvious, obvious, obvious will say, T-shirt. I'm wearing a T-shirt. And then you'll get one. In fact, in Ghost Adventures, the one I was watching, I was, watch I was watching the latest season. Can't remember where they were now. But they were doing the obvious stuff. And like there was some words popping out. Oh, I wish I could bloody remember them now. And they were like so reaching for to try and explain what those words were. It was like none of those words made any sense whatsoever because of the area they were in. They were attributing... Attributing attributing can't say the word every single every single word that came out of that obelisk they were trying to figure out something like glass and they go oh my god there's a cup there there's a glass cup right there that must mean something you know that kind of thing there's a lot of cherry picking in those when it comes to experiments made by the paranormal investigators i don't know has there been any official let's have a look officially funded paranormal Investigations. Government funded paranormal study revealed. Interesting. Let's have a look. A new doc documentary covers the bizarre and frightening experiences that occurred during the scientific stu study of a ranch in Utah of a skinwalker. Skinwalker documentary. Hunt for the skinwalker. I'll have to get to that. Science confronts the unexplained at a remote, remote ranch in, in Utah. It was co-authored by Las Vegas-based investigative reporter George Knapp and biochemic biochemist... Colm Kelleher. Kelleher, Kelleher, if I'm saying that name right, works for Robert Bigelow, the owner of Budget Suites of America and Bigelow Aerospace. I mean, he's a scientist. He's a biochemist, mind. I'm not knocking biochemists. I'm not knocking biochemists, but I don't think that's the specific field of science you should be expert, an expert in if you're going to, like, do this kind of thing. I don't know. I could be wrong. Like I said, I'm not a scientist. There's been some, some done in the 1960s, 1970s. I think in the 1980s, but there was more on like telekinesis with, you know, MK, MK Ultra and all that stuff. But as far as like paranormal, official, uh, that Hunt for uh, Skinwalker thing, I'm not taking that as an official thing because I think that's just done for the documentary. But as far as like an official experiment done with various... Like you said, radio signals with intelligent responses. I've only ever seen that from paranormal investigators. And I'm not knocking paranormal investigators, but a lot of them can be biased towards what they're getting. Even the high and mighty ghost adventures. You know what it is. But anyway, where was I? <laughs> I've gone on so bloody long. Oh yeah, right. The, sorry, the second uh, part of your comment. Now, can you tell me how gravity works? Why does anything with mass attract others? They can describe and predict gravitational phenomena mathematically, but scientists can't explain it. They can only describe it. I agree. I agree. Although, hang on. Wait. There are some theories, mind. It's not that we can't explain it. Gravity exists because space expands. That's the simple... <laughs> That's the sim simple... Um, Explanation, I suppose. And these are theories. I, I, I'll admit these are theories. Uh, one theory, there are particles called gravitons, which are responsible for gravitational force between objects. The effect we call gravity is caused by cosmic motion. Gravitational fields have no boundaries. There's no place where, there's, where there is zero gravity. I, I mean, I agree. We, we don't specifically know how, why gravity is there, but we know it's there. That's, that's the difference with that. We know gravity exists. I'm not going to do it, but 
gravity is going to make that phone fall. Not because not because it's heavy, but, you know, obviously it has mass to it, but it's because gravity. If you went 65 kilometers up, oh no, sorry, 110 kilometers up, you know, that would fall a little tiny bit slower, but it would still fall because you're further away from the mass of the Earth. I could be wrong on that. Like I said, I'm not a scientist, but I agree that we don't know everything. <laughs> but, I, but I appreciate the comment, uh, Dan. Yeah, I'm going to make this little last comment because I have gone on a bit, as usual. But it's a good one. It's a long comment, but it's a good one. It's from Thierry Lefrond. I hope I'm saying the name right. And they say, and they, again, they're going on the uh, SLS counter argument from the li lie snippet. And they say, no need to explain it, all of this, really, but it is being appreciated, that must be said. The Connect just cannot see things which are not there. Because if it did, it would not work for the purpose it was made for. Imagine playing the game and the Kinect sees all kinds of stuff flying around you. While that stuff isn't visibly there, they would have noticed already while developing the thing. Exactly. Billions of people died already on this world. Oh, great. <laughs> I thought you were going to say billions of people died making the Kinect, and I thought, hang on. Uh, estimated 109 billion. Think of that, ghosts must be everywhere by now. Exactly. Exactly. Even if you believe most of them went to heaven and only a small percentage stuck on this earth, they would still would be everywhere, roaming the world, searching for gaming teenagers and stuff like that. But seriously, playing a Kinect game would be impossible due to ghosts whooshing through your room, constantly ruining your high score and stuff like that. Now, he's got a good point, and I'll get to the rest of his comment. He's got an excellent point with that. Why do we only see ghosts from like 200 years ago or 100 years ago? Or like, in the case of some castles, a thousand years ago. Why don't we see caveman ghosts? <laughs> I don't know. But it is interesting. It's an interesting point that often gets swept under the rug with a lot of these things. Why do we only see certain age or era of ghosts, I should say? And I think I heard someone say a while back that this was their argument, and I, d I don't bloody know, but the reason you don't see caveman ghosts is because they weren't sentient. I mean, I suppose they were. They must have been sentient in some form or another. But because uh, they didn't realise their existence or something like that. That was the counter-argument to why you don't see caveman ghosts. It's interesting. But I don't know. Uh, my friend had a connect. He lived near a graveyard. He or we never saw a ghost or similar monster bug on or in front of the screen. Except for my ex-girlfriend. Searching for ghosts with the connect is like measuring temperature with a scale. Also, the counter theory that ghosts simply are invisible won't help. Like you already said, it does not rely on vision only. The connect still needs mass, matter, a body, a substance, something sensible, something touchable. In fact, the light must be touch, must touch something. And that's where the believers got stuck, in my opinion. Ghosts fly through walls and so on, but you can't do that if the connect sees you. Yeah, exactly what was, I've said in a couple of videos now. When it comes to light photons, the camera has to pick those up. Whether it's on a different spectrum or not, the camera still has to pick those light particles up, photons, whatever. So that's how you know the Kinect is not seeing a ghost. So basically, the Kinect can only see living entities like Russian spies in an invisible suit. What suit is that? <laughs> also, if there were really ghosts on many of these Ghost Hunters footages, they could easily also be filmed with a night vision cam, filming the ghost moving through the IR dot matrix with the Kinect produces, which the Kinect produces. That would be more, much more impressive than a simple stick figure. And no, dear amateur ghost hunters, that's not the same as cheap Chinese laser grid. I like that comment. Very interesting comment with some very good points, if you ask me. I think that's great. I really like that comment, and I think it makes sense with the Kinect. I know we Kinect heavy again, but it just makes sense. It makes bloody sense. But anyway, I've rambled way too long, and I will hopefully get to more of your comments sometime soon in the next couple of days. But I enjoyed them. Some funny comments, some brain-splitting, making-you-think comments. I like those kind of ones. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, leave a like if you like this video, leave a sub if you're new to my channel, I do these quite often. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.